Where to? Take me to Iron Street. Hope I don't hit anyone. Are you kidding me? It's not okay for men to be hugging each other and crying and talking about their feelings. You know what? I disagree. I, I say feel, but feel with your fists. All right? Right there, the hammers that God gave you on the end of your arms. Okay? Are you with me, Bastion's buddies? And now, here's the man himself, Richard Bastion. All right. Thanks for joining me, Bastion's buddies, here and on 1,400 radio stations worldwide. Welcome to the show. Now, today we're talking about family values on the program. And I'll tell you oh, now, I'm to two women. My wife, my lovely, lovely wife with her beautiful hair and pretty face. The second person I'm married to, Dude, America. I, I, I totally now, just here's my thing. I won't go down south on either. Why? Because it does not help with populating this great country with real Americans. It's about pleasure, not procreation. Nico, it's your cousin. You want to go shoot pool? Sorry, cousin. I have no time to play pool right now. Cool, cousin. Another time then. Call me. Bigamy is illegal in most states. It, it, you know, it's tough. It's tough serving two women. In my line of work, you need to be able to sing the national anthem or a uh, spiritual show tune with equal amounts of enthusiasm. But remember, I ain't just whistling Dixie, because nobody, nobody likes a whistler or a whistleblower. You know, it's like when uh, you see when you see two people kiss in public, especially ugly people. Go, good Lord, keep it to this yourself, sucks. folks, okay? Put the tongues back in their bags. I don't want to see it. You know, you, you keep traditional values, traditions. There, are the, there aren't too many of them around anymore, so we better fight for the few we got left. All right, let me tell you, I love my country. I, I would love to tongue kiss the Statue of Happiness. You know, just reach my hand underneath that big smock she's wearing and just give her a nice freedom squeeze. Let's go to the phone. You hit me! Hi, Ricky. I'm a bastion buddy. I fucking believe this. Nobody give a shit about all the Come in. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? Huh? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me. Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. Follow him. Wait until it touches down. Then when he's uh, to get in and fight. 
fly to the airport in Dukes. Okay, then.
Thank you. We'll take it from here. Pardon me, 